because what ends up happening is these nails, they're thicker. So what I do is when I pick out the tools to use on your nails, because you've got these curly toenails here, I'll use the smaller nippers for those little corners and stuff. But sometimes when they're thicker like that, I have to use the bigger nippers. Okay, so that's why you pick both nippers to have ready to go. This here drill bit is a K-star drill bit. And so it'll thin these thick nails down, but you can't use this on everybody because if they're jerky or if they have a high sensitive reaction to the e-file, which is the drill that I use, what ends up happening is they kind of flinch a little bit. And because this has got so many grooves in it, it cuts the skin quite easily. So I don't use it on anybody who's jerky. So I'll start out with I'm thinking, jerky. okay, so what I do is I usually will pull all my tools out anticipating what I'm going to use. But what I can use is this on your nails and this is a skin bit, but it's also works well at filing these nails down and thinning it. So I always have all of it ready to go just in case we need. And that little guy there's a filer because there's nothing really to cut. So that's kind of what we call those. So you always kind of have everything ready to go and prepared. That way you don't have to go back up into your kit to get stuff out. And that little guy, yeah, she got you good there when she cut it. You all right? Yeah, it looks fine. She took a little chunk out. <laughs> you probably won't ask her to cut them again, huh? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> and she won't cut them again. <laughs> I had a patient who, um, she cut her, and she was a nurse actually, and she's 92, and she cut her toenails, and she was on blood thinners, and she could not stop the bleeding, and she had to call the squad. And she said, I was so embarrassed. And that was the last time she cut her nails. So when they're thick like this, you just kind of take little pieces and try to cut them down. You get more bang for your buck with the filing than you do the cutting actually when they're thick. Well, do a good job because I'm moving. Oh, where are you moving to? Kentucky. Oh. So I won't be seeing you anymore. I know. I don't know. I don't have a nurse in Kentucky yet. Kentucky, they need a foot care nurse. What part of Kentucky? Richmond. Richmond, Richmond, Kentucky. Do you know where that is? No. Well, you know where, you've heard of the EKU? No. That's where the EKU is, okay. University. You, oh, okay. No. Just follow these. Well, what are you moving there for? To be close to family? Yeah. Are you? We have a nurse in, I believe, Cincinnati. How far is it from Cincinnati? Is it? Not over. Yeah. Oh, you're down there, yeah. I've been there. Yeah. Yes.
How can you keep what? Well, it can be a couple things. It can be neuropathy. It can be low um, vitamin deficiency. But that is beyond my scope. So you need to go to an actual MD for all that stuff. You don't have to have diabetes to have neuropathy. It's kind of an old way of thinking. Yeah, it's another thing, is if you don't drink a lot. Yeah, if you're dehydrated, that can cause it too. What? So I have an online digital course. So it's all online. And then I do live training up in Columbus. They fly in from states and we do it up there. What I was finding was there wasn't a lot of nurses doing it so I've been doing it for 10 years and I thought if I could start training nurses because I was getting calls from other states people were looking for the service and it's kind of how I came up with the idea But...